like diamonds in the sky Today we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look. This is something that I've been wearing quite often and it's just my everyday sort of glamorous soft look. So all the eyeshadows that I use today are by Makeup Geek. Um, I recently purchased the Makeup Geek eyeshadows probably about a month ago now and I absolutely love them. I literally cannot stop using them. I use them on a lot of clients as well, particularly brides. I've been so, so busy recently so I do need to apologise because I haven't posted for a little while but I am back and I will be posting twice a week as per usual. But I've just had so much on, I've had loads of like bridal trials in and loads of events and stuff so I'm actually running late for an appointment right now that I really need to get to but I really wanted to get a video up for you today so I really really hope that you enjoy this look. If you're interested in finding out how I got it then please keep watching. Be starting off with skincare and the moisturiser that I've been using recently is the Neutrogena Physically Clear Pink Grapefruit one. So I'm just going to be smoothing that all over my skin. Then I'm going to be going in with a prep spray and this one is by Urban Decay and it's a B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Spray and it claims to reduce redness, it's pore minimising and it's oil absorbing and I have noticed a massive difference in using this. I feel that my skin is a lot less redder and also it helps mattify my skin throughout the day. Um, the primer that I'm going to be using is the the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and the light version. So I'm just going to be smoothing that over my skin and patting that into the, my pores and also my T-zone. Foundation today I'm going to be taking my Estee Lauder Double Wear Light and the colour Intensity 2 and with a damp beauty blend I'm just going to be patting that into my skin. Um, I really like to use this on a normal everyday basis just because it's not as heavy as a normal double wear foundation but it does create a really nice coverage and it has the same qualities as double wear so it lasts all day long, it helps reduce the shine and it just creates a really nice flawless canvas on the skin. Moving on to concealer, I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear in the colour NC20 and I'm just going to be placing that in a triangle shape underneath my eyes and then patting that in with my damp beauty blender. I'm going to be placing a little bit of the product also on my eyelids and that's just to create a really nice sort of flawless canvas before we start blending out any eyeshadows. I absolutely love this concealer, it gives really good coverage and it doesn't crease as well. For powder today, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Nude Magique BB Powder and I'm just going to be setting my concealer with this and also the rest of my face makeup. Um, I've really been liking this powder recently. Um, it does give me a little bit more coverage without my foundation looking too cakey. Now I'm going to be taking my Stila Bronzer in the colour Medium and I'm just going to be doing a little bit of contouring so I'm just going to be placing that on the hollows of my cheekbones and also at the sides of my forehead. Just going to warm up the skin a little bit as well, make me look a little bit more bronzed. I'm going to go back in with my duo fibre brush and I'm just going to be blending out all that bronzer just to make sure there's no harsh lines. For blushes today I'm going to be taking a MAC blusher in the colour Lovejoy and I'm just going to be placing that on the high points of my cheekbones and also a little bit on the apples of my cheeks too. Now I'm going to be taking one of my favourite highlighters and that is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in the colour Soft and Gentle and with a fan brush I'm just going to be placing that on the high points of my cheekbones and also bringing that round above my temples. So now moving on to eyes, I'm just going to be taking my Makeup Neat eyeshadow in the colour Peach Smoothie and with my MAC 217 brush I'm just going to be buffing that out into my crease to act as a transition shade. I'm going to be taking this shadow quite high up towards the brow bone and the reason why I'm doing that is because when we go in with some more colours we're just going to have a really nice sort of gradient effect up towards the eyebrows and just make sure those eyeshadows are really blended out seamlessly. I'm going to be going in with a colour called Creme Brulee and it's just a couple of shades darker than that transition shade and with the same brush I'm just going to be buffing that into my crease and a little bit on my eyelids and that's just going to add a little bit more definition to the look. Now I'm going to be going in with this colour called Preppy and it's kind of like a nice khaki green shade and with my Real Techniques blending brush I'm just going to be focusing that on the outer V of my eye and the reason why we just switched over from the MAC 239 to the Real Techniques blending brush is because this brush is more tapered at the end so therefore you're going to end up with more precision. I'm going to be taking my MAC 217 brush again and with no extra products I'm just going to be blending out all those eyeshadows into the crease just to make sure we've got no harsh edges. So I'm going to be going in with this colour called Shimmer Shimmer and with my MAC 239 brush I'm just going to be pressing and swiping that onto my eyelid and I'm just going to be focusing that mainly on the inner half of my eyelid just to really brighten up that area. 
Now I'm going to be taking that colour Preppy again, which is that khaki green, and with my MAC 239 brush, I'm just going to be placing that on the outer half of my eyelid. That's just going to add a little bit more colour to the look and help blend out those crease eyeshadows too. Now taking my NARS eyeliner in the colour Via Veneto, I'm just going to be placing that up on the upper waterline just to make my eyelashes appear more fuller. For eyeliner today, I'm going to be taking my MAC Flat Definer brush, spraying it with a little bit of Fix Plus and dipping it into a MAC eyeshadow in the colour Carbon, which is a really matte black colour. And I'm just going to be drawing out kind of like a little winged eyeliner. I'm going to be keeping it very close to the lash line and when I get out to the wing, I'm just going to be sort of blending it upwards so the look appears really soft and smoky. Now I'm going to be going in with my Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Mascara. I'm just going to be placing that on my lashes. And then the eyelashes that I'm using today are by Red Cherry in the number 117. To complete the eye look, I'm going to be taking my MAC 219 brush. And with that colour preppy again, I'm just going to be blending that onto my lower lash line. So I did go in and align my lower lash line with that same eyeliner. And with my flat definer brush and with that MAC Carbon, I'm just going to be taking that and just placing that on the lower lash line as well. And I'm just going to be blending that into the eyeliner just to make sure there's no sort of skin showing. And I'm just going to add a little bit more definition to the whole look. Going back in with the same Estee Lauder mascara and placing that on my lower lashes. So I'm going to be lining my lips with the colour In Anticipation by MAC and then I'm going to be using a long wearing lipstick by Stila in the colour Patina. This lipstick is incredible, it literally stays put all day, it doesn't budge and I absolutely love the colour. So it does dry matte so you do want to go in with a kind of like a lip balm or a lip gloss. So I'm just going to go in with a lip gloss and the one that I'm using today is by MAC and it's a pro long wear one and it is in the colour Patience Please and I'm just going to be focusing that mainly on the middle part of my lips and that's just going to make the appearance they look more fuller. Guys that completes the look. I really really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel if you're new and I'll see you on my next one. Bye! Like